guys, this is Ishwari here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make three different kinds of jewellery holders. So if you are interested then keep watching. For the first DIY, you are going to need a badminton racket, black spray paint, some artificial flowers of your choice and a glue gun. First, you remove the top part of your badminton racket. Spray paint the racket black. If you are doing this at home, be sure to keep a newspaper under your racket. After letting it dry for about an hour, it should look something like this. Use the glue gun and stick the flowers on the rim of the racket. enough to get artificial flowers with wires in them so I bent the ends through the hole of the racket and twisted it around the rim of the racket. Now use the glue gun and stick the flowers on the rim. That's basically it and isn't this an amazing way to upcycle an old badminton racket and make it into such a cute and trendy earring holder. you're going to need a wooden plank, five dough knobs, paints of the colors that you want, a palette and a water container, a strong glue or glue gun. So first you have to paint the wooden plank. sunset themed colors because they went with the gold knobs that I had bought. You can also do a night sky or galaxy or just leave it like that if you want a wooden rustic finish. Adjust the placement of your door knobs. Adjust the first one and then place the rest at equal distances from each other depending on the size of your plant. Mine was long enough so I kept them at a distance of about 11 cm. After you're happy with the placement, start sticking them. Use your glue gun, I would suggest because the arrow dye that I am using took about like 3 days to dry so and it still doesn't dry properly so I would suggest don't use this glue uh, because it takes a lot of time to dry you might as well use like a glue gun or a very quick instead. All the knobs 
make sure that they are dried perfectly before you start using it. And that's basically it. You can use a hook and hang it on your wall or just suspend it with string. Last one, you'll need a palette, a flat brush, a rounded tip thin brush, a water container, uh, some acrylic paints, a decorative wooden frame, white lace and a stapler. Now start painting your wooden frame. I use portrait pink for the front of the frame and a deep magenta for the side. Use a rounded tip brush to paint the details of the frame. Decide as to how you want to place the white laces. After you're happy with how it looks, flip the frame, cut each lace the required length. Now use the stapler and staple the lace to the back of the frame. This may take a while. The trick is to staple the thinner parts of the lace properly so that it doesn't come out and so that it's easier for you to staple it. If this doesn't work, simply use a duct tape, secure it properly so it doesn't fly or just nail it using a hammer. Staple the start and end of each lace. After you have secured all the three laces, hang the earrings on it and you're done. give it a thumbs up comment down below as to which one was your favorite and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you next time bye, -bye.